A General Theory of Oblivion, by José Eduardo Aguilosa, is a poignant and beautifully crafted novel that explores themes of isolation, identity, and memory. Set in Angola during the period of Portuguese colonization and the subsequent civil war, the novel follows the life of Ludo, a reclusive woman who walls herself up in her apartment in Luanda, the capital city of Angola, shortly before the country's independence. The novel is structured around Ludo's confinement and her musings on life, death, and memory, which are triggered by her experiences of isolation. The novel opens with a prologue that sets the stage for Ludo's confinement. On the eve of Angola's independence, Ludo's sister Odite and her husband, Orlando, flee the country, leaving Ludo behind. To avoid the chaos and violence of the city, Ludo decides to wall herself up in her apartment and cut herself off from the outside world. She survives by growing vegetables on her terrace and keeping chickens and dogs for company. Her isolation is interrupted only by her encounters with a thief who breaks into her apartment and a young boy who brings her food and water. The novel is divided into short chapters that are narrated from multiple perspectives, including Ludo's, the thief's, the young boy's, and other minor characters. The different narrative voices give the novel a rich texture and depth, as the reader is able to see the world from multiple perspectives. The novel is also interspersed with brief historical and political interludes that provide context for the events that are unfolding. One of the central themes of the novel is memory, and the way in which memory shapes our identity and our understanding of the world. Ludo's confinement forces her to confront her past and to reflect on the events that have led her to this point. She begins to write her memories on the walls of her apartment, using the tiles as a kind of canvas. These memories take on a life of their own, becoming a testament to her existence and a record of her experiences. Another important theme of the novel is isolation and the way in which isolation can both liberate and imprison us. Ludo's confinement is both a source of comfort and a form of imprisonment. On the one hand, it allows her to escape the chaos and violence of the outside world, and to create her own self-contained universe. On the other hand, it also isolates her from the rest of society, and deprives her of the human connections that give life meaning. The novel is also a meditation on the power of language and storytelling. Ludo's memories are a testament to the power of language to create meaning and to give shape to our experiences. The different narrative voices in the novel are also a reminder of the way in which storytelling can bring us together and help us to understand each other. Overall, A General Theory of Oblivion is a powerful and thought-provoking novel that explores some of the most fundamental questions of human existence. Through its nuanced and empathetic portrayal of Ludo's confinement, the novel invites us to reflect on our own lives, and to consider the ways in which memory, identity, and storytelling shape our understanding of the world. Agualosa's prose is lyrical and evocative, and the novel is a testament to the power of literature to move and inspire us.